All right, what's up tycoons? Super excited for today's video. We are gonna go ahead and go over personally uh, what I think is the best strategy for identifying macro trends um, when related to cryptocurrencies and even stocks as well. Um, in particular, I think this strategy is most effective on Bitcoin. And we know that Bitcoin is kind of like, you know, the king of all cryptos. Um, and, you know, if Bitcoin is going up, then typically you will see other altcoins going up. And if Bitcoin is going down, you will see other altcoins going down, right? Now, um, the reason I'm showing this video is because I actually had a request in the comment section um, for, you know, what I'd like to use to establish some more macro trends. Uh, so if you have any requests for a particular strategy or a cryptocurrency stock you would like me to break down, make sure to comment below. I do those viewer requests every single week. All right. So what we're looking at is the MACD, okay? Now, this stands for the Moving Average Convergence Divergence, okay? It's really complicated sounding, um, but I'm going to break it down to you pretty simply, okay? And so we're looking at the Bitcoin chart on TradingView, um, and for some reason, it only goes back to like 2017. Um, if you can uh, drop a link to, you know, a trading view chart on Bitcoin that pulls it up all the way back to like 2013, that would be much appreciated, but we'll go ahead and dive into it. Okay. So this is our MACD right here. All right. And what we're going to focus on is these arrows. Okay. I've highlighted these arrows. All right. And what we're going to do is zoom in on the chart and actually see what happens. Okay. So um, in particular for this strategy, what I'm going to be doing is you're going to look for this blue line here okay you're looking for this one to either cross above the orange line okay or cross below the orange line and i'm going to give you guys several examples to show why this is my favorite macro uh trading strategy um and what i like to use on a macro scale okay so in particular um this strategy is going to be effective in my opinion on the weekly chart okay so i'm not really using this on smaller time frames than the weekly um and i'm using the weekly because each candlestick is going to represent a week and it's going to give you a much better sense of the macro trend okay now that we've got that established i want to go ahead and highlight right here okay so february 19th uh, or February 2019, we can see we got the crossover, okay? So the blue line crossed above the orange line on the MACD. If you would have entered off of that signal, okay, you can see here that we had 341% gains, okay? So that's why I like using it, all right? We're going to go over several examples, and this is the first one, okay? So just alone off of that, you know, that's a 140-day trading period, all right? Um, you know, a few months right there. And that was a 300% plus gain. All right. Now we'll go ahead and zoom into the MACD some more. All right. And we'll take a look at our next crossover, which was down here. Okay. So once we cross over right here at this point, okay, we can see that Bitcoin actually ended up falling 65% over the next 210 days. Right. And so that was your sell signal. Okay. So maybe you didn't sell here at the top, but you did get in here on the initial crossover and you exit when this crossover happens, okay? And the reason being is, again, it really gives you a good macro signal, okay? Um, and, you know, 210 days, a lot of people aren't looking that much into the future or they don't have that much insight, right? This is really something that will help you kind of establish kind of a macro trend, all right? So, you know, that right there would have saved you a 65% loss, um, if, you know, if you weren't prepared for it. Okay. We'll go over to the next one. Um, all right. And, or we have one right here too. We can go over the MACD crossover right here. All right. And we can take a look at those gains and they're going to be pretty stupid. Okay. Let's watch this guys. If you would have entered in on the MACD crossover here. Okay. That right there was 535% gains. Okay. Within 190 days. Right. And then we got a sell signal right here. Okay, so we'll go here, April 19th, 2021, right? And we'll take a look and look at how much it dropped, 55%, okay? After we got our sell signal right here where the blue line crossed below the orange line on the MACD, all right? Um, and next one, all right, uh, right here, we had a little buy signal. Okay, I'll show that one. Here's our buy signal here. And this is when Bitcoin hit its all-time highs. All right, and we can see that we had a 58% rally to the upside, all right? Um, and then we got a crossover down right here, okay? So we can look at our crossover here, 
All right, and we can see that Bitcoin fell a lot. Okay, it fell 70% at its lows right there. Um, so, you know, this is really why, in particular, this is why, um, you know, I like using the weekly MACD. Okay, and I don't put the MACD in too many of my videos because I try to keep them relatively simple um, and easy for beginners. But if you would like more videos, including the MACD and maybe some more macro perspectives, make sure to let me know in the comment section below. All right. So, you know, that right there was your signal. Okay. And again, we have another signal right here. Okay. Where we tried to cross over, but then it ended up crossing back below. All right. And so this is another sell signal right here. And we can see that that was another 50% plus drop. All right. Now, currently what we are looking at is a crossover to the upside. Okay. So this could signal potentially a nice, you know, bullish rally on Bitcoin. All right. And I want to highlight real quick how we are forming a nice double bottom. OK, we have a bottom here. We have a bottom here. OK, um, you know, we're basically holding this support level very strongly. Now, the more times you test the support level, the weaker it gets and the easier it is to break down and head lower. All right. But by using this strategy on the weekly chart, we do have an entry signal here. OK. Um, and, you know, it does suggest that Bitcoin could be heading toward upwards. All right. But we aren't seeing the blue line go aggressively to the upside. Right. If you notice each time that you had a buy signal, it really starts to trend upwards. And it's really just hovering very, very closely with those. All right. Now, one of the things that I do include in most of my videos is going to be the RSI, the relative strength index. And this is going to show you the relative strength of a security at its given price level. Okay. And again, we just went over how we're pretty much holding the same support level. All right. So notice how Bitcoin is flatlining essentially right here at this level. Look at what our relative strength index is doing. We have a low here and a higher low here, okay? This is what's known as bullish divergence, right? And it indicates that we may see some bullish activity in the future, okay? Um, none of these are 100% guarantees, so always keep that in mind. But, you know, the more tools you have under your belt, um, the more of an edge you have in the market, okay? In trading, um, whether it's stocks or cryptocurrency, it's all about having an edge and giving yourself um, an edge over your competitors, right? Whether it's other retail traders, whether it's large money institutions, you need to have something that's going to set yourself apart and give yourself an edge in the market, all right? So um, that was basically it. Just wanted to keep it short and sweet. Go over the MACD, all right, um, and why it's, you know, one of my favorite long-term macro strategies, um, you know, really to break down the macro trends, all right? And then also just use and, and show you guys the RSI, how you can start of, to combine both of these, right? So not only did we get a crossover on the MACD, right, we also have some bullish divergence forming as well. OK, so, um, you know, there are some indications uh, that we could see some green in the future on Bitcoin. All right. It doesn't mean that things are going to return back to all time highs. Um, obviously, you know, the uh, I would say the economic environment is not suggesting um, that we would go ahead and hit any of these highs. If you think about it, we had a global recession, a global pandemic. I'm sorry. All right. And lots of money was printed and lots of stimulus went about and not. And so everybody had free money and then everything hit all time highs, you know. So it's it's going to be really hard to go back to those all time highs soon because, you know, people are a little bit tight on money. So, you know, it's a much it's a complete opposite of environment of where, OK, well, people aren't really working that much and they have all this extra money now. What are they going to spend it on? We're now in an area where people are, you know, working um, and possibly trying to get overtime, right? Trying to save up as much as they can, uh, not really spending as much. Uh, so, you know, you can expect to not really see all time highs within 2022. Um, but, you know, we do have a nice little signal here on the MACD and we do have a nice little signal here on the RSI. OK, so just wanted to go ahead and cover that. If you like this video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'm out.